here on Pippin's pregame as we get set for game one against Gresham here at home on a, a pretty warm Monday, but certainly heating up into summertime. Coach, uh, your team's done pretty well against Gresham this year, especially last week uh, with a big win. As you get set to face them again, I know they're starting to play a little bit better as a team, but what are some keys you guys are looking for heading into this series? Uh, consistency. Consistency, show up to the park uh, with, your, with your lunch pail packed and, and go to work. That's uh, we, we're we're trying to teach professionalism and 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 the ability to, to play play over time and and it's a beautiful day I think low 90s today and our, our guys have already got some good early work in we're excited about guys certainly excited to be here as well and and Jace Vandebrink yesterday with a couple of hits got a, a double to drive in a run I know for him he been trying to get his bat back to the way he he think he could certainly swing it and, and and a nice little effort yesterday well it's nice to see him yeah get have some success Jace is a is a lot better hitter than. Than where he's at right now, we you know today again we we've already kind of worked on some things with, with some guys. Jace Jace was one of them, and uh, we we know where he can get to and, and getting him getting him right mentally and uh, so that he can he can uh, really reap the benefits mentally uh, and, and for our team uh, in, in the scorebook. We've talked about Ryan Garcia, his ability to hit the last couple of games, but he's going to get the start tonight. I know we've seen him in different roles starting and relieving, but certainly a young arm who you guys are very excited about moving forward. Oh, of course. Yeah, Ryan's uh, been a big part of our success so far offensively and, and on the hill. He, uh, he had had about with some sickness there where we uh, we couldn't use him for, you know, for about a half a week, uh, five, six days, but uh, very excited to have him back, and he's he's been uh, – He's been a rock for us. We're, we're excited he's got the ball today. In terms of uh, this matchup in particular, I know your team's been working on the fundamentals, trying to feel the ball a little bit better. Some errors yesterday that kind of came back to bite you a little bit. How do you keep the guys focused on the, the, the next day approach and try to overcome a, a tough game heading into this new one? Well, just making sure they understand that it's the same game they've always played. It just might be a little faster than, than uh, what, what they're used to for, for some guys. And it they, it's just an adjustment. It's a learning process. It's it's something where we're 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 dealing with with some adversity more so than, th than they'd like, but that's uh, that's part of our journey and part of part of what this thing's about. And we're we're not going to stray away from a challenge. We're gonna we're gonna face a good club that's playing well, you know, today. And we've got to play well to win. And shoot, I, I just think that guys that, that get excited at the opportunity that they have every day uh, will achieve confidence consistently quicker and and we'll 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 translate in, into more success that, that we really want well certainly just gained 22 of a uh, 54 so plenty of baseball to go thanks coach all right